Hey guys, this is Ludwig with another Corona tutorial. This is gonna be a quick one about masks. So let's say I've rendered out the image and uh, I'm maybe not completely happy with some parts of the image that I wanna be selectively, selectively adjusting. So obviously I'm gonna need some sort of masks. Uh, let's say I've already uh, rendered the scene and I don't wanna re-render it all again just because of masks, so in Corona we can just uh, add a new mask using mask render element. Uh, let's say I want a mask of this car, so I've set already uh, object ID of all the car objects to 30. I'm gonna just enable uh, object ID right here in the mask element. I'm gonna set it to 30. And I'm gonna go to scene and just click this one little button. And what this is gonna do is just uh, render uh, masks only or, or all the elements that do not need uh, main beauty pass to be rendered and it's gonna render them almost instantly and therefore you can just get a real quick mask as you can see here uh, everything goes pretty quickly so I'm gonna just stop it here I'm gonna save out my mask let's call it a car once I got my mask safe I'm gonna just drop it right in Photoshop, select it, copy it, paste it as a new alpha channel, control click the alpha channel, and now I can say, for example, create brightness contrast. It's, it's created already with a selection, so with my mask, let's just quickly disable the alpha. And right here, I can selectively adjust properties only of, uh, of the car. Uh, also, what you can do is if you need multiple masks, then let's say uh, you can use RGB masks. Therefore, this is 30. So this is going to be, uh, this tree is going to be maybe 31. And let's say I want to adjust also these, this wagon. So let's make this 32. Now I'm going to go here, enable RGB mode, enable object IDs and go 30, 31, 32. Again, go back to scene, click render only elements. And once we wait for the scene to be translated, just a second, you can see I've got these colored masks, which I'm going to show you how to use right, right now. So again, cancel it, save it. Let's call it RGB masks that JPEG uh, again open in Photoshop I'm gonna copy it this time I'm gonna just paste it as a new layer and when I go to channels if I select red channel by control clicking on it I'm gonna extract the red therefore I got a car mask if I control click the green I'm gonna get mask of a tree if I control click the blue I'm gonna get mask of the wagon so let's say I want to adjust just the wagon therefore let's make it for example I don't know hue saturation disable this layer and now I can make wagon more saturated or desaturated I can make it lighter or darker I can shift the hue a little bit Okay, third uh, possibility is, uh, let's say I'm not particularly happy with a certain material, maybe this metal on the, on the bridge over here. So uh, let's go back to 3ds Max. Let's open up our material editor. Okay, let's quickly pick the bridge material. And I'm gonna assign this material some material ID. So I'm gonna go here and let's make it, for example, material ID six. Once I've got this, I'm gonna go back to our render element. I'm gonna make it monochromatic, but select material ID, which is gonna be six and render only elements again. And just waiting for the scene to translate. Gonna take a second. It's not exactly a simple scene, so it's taking a few seconds. And yeah, I've accidentally selected the wrong, wrong kind of metal. So let me just fix it real quick. Okay, let's select this right here. Let's make this six. Let's make this back to zero. Again, click the button, wait for the scene to translate. It's gonna take just a second or a few seconds, you know. 
and it's almost done there we go now i got a metal mask so just give it a few seconds so we get the rough mask okay this looks good enough stop it save it let's call it bridge metal save it out again bring it in photoshop copy it make a new channel paste it select it and go with for example curves again disable the mask and let's play a lot around with the curves you can see it only affects bridge okay that's it uh, this is a simple way to do mask real quick on the fly when you're working on post process and you do not have uh, much time to waste so you just need quick mask without rendering the whole image again uh, see you next time goodbye